Do you want to start your own business? Here are five things you should have in place before starting. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Chris McNish, content creator for Sweet Gap Incorporated, where we provide solutions using content creation to help tell your story. Before I go any further, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to be notified when I post more content. Starting your own business is a big deal. There is a lot of responsibility, a lot of stress, a lot of late nights, but oh, the rewards are worth it. In 2009, I was working in accounting and hated every minute of it. And in desperation, I decided on taking a class. Long story short, the professor told me that he really thought I had a gift and I should pursue it. From that confirmation, I started my business, but to hold myself accountable, I decided on getting a few things in place and I'll share that with you. Number one, register my business name with the state. After choosing a name for my new company, which was Sweet Gap Incorporated, I wanted to register my company so that no one else can use it. Also, I wanted to check if anyone else had the name. I'm sure they didn't, but I wanted to make sure. I had to determine the best way to register my business and there are several ways you can structure your business. You can form a business entity such as a corporation or limited liability company or register your business name as a federal trademark. After counsel from an accounting firm, I decided on starting a corporation. I sent the name to the state of Alabama and in a few weeks, I got it approved. Number two, create an employer identification number or EIN. An EIN number is a social security number for your business. Creating an EIN is free and it takes less than five minutes. It's important to separate your personal finances from your business. Think about it. When you go to clients, you are speaking on behalf of your business. That's powerful. Why? A client can be a family member or a friend or an old coworker. When you approach a client or lead on behalf of your business, the language of your conversation is different. You are more professional, you are about your business, and that will completely throw them off. At some point, if you stick to your company policies, they will respect the fact that you and your business are separate. Number three, create a business checking account. Creating a business checking account adds professionalism and credibility to your small business. Even if you start off as a hobby, your clients and customers will be more inclined to trust your business is legit. When paying payments or transactions are undertaken from an account that uses your business name. Number four, create a business website. If you want to grow your business by being in front of the right audience, you need to be found online implying that you have a website. It is what your customers expect. Even if the website only had the homepage that your potential clients can book a consultation would be better than not having a website at all. Number five, get a professional headshot. I have talked about this before. The link is in the description. We live in a world of biases, the way you look, smile, walk, and treat people. We judge each other. The face of your business is the, your impression to the world. Getting a professional headshot separates you from other business owners that have taken a picture on their iPhone. A professional headshot taken from the right photographer is key in building your professional brand to the world. Whether you're a lawyer, doctor, janitor, construction worker, or tutor, you want the world to view you as someone that is confident, competent, and approachable. There are many other things that you can add to building the foundations of starting a business, but I will leave you with these key ingredients. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to my page, click on that notification bell, and don't forget to leave a comment.